Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. So we're getting a bunch of questions in the uh, in the chat, and uh, a lot of these questions I uh, I was planning to ask you, but let's uh, let's start sprinkling a few in here randomly. Um, Doghouse Reefer, uh, what's your secret, Jason Fox? What's your main focus to achieve the amazing colors and growth? Why don't we just get right into it? <laughs> Water changes. Water changes. Yeah. Anytime, any my tanks or something's not liking the way I like it, I hit it with big water changes. What salt are you using? The uh, Instant Ocean's Reef Crystals. Interesting. And 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 uh, so do you do water changes on a regular basis? I mean, is it like weekly at a certain percentage or is it just whenever you're noticing something? No, there, I, I've got like a recipe. It's every week. Every other week I do water changes on the big systems. On something like a 32 BioCube or something like this little one behind me, I'll do about 75% a week. Oh, wow. That's big. Yeah. I have a no skimmer. I don't test test any of the water parameters. Nothing. All I do is water changes. So on all systems, you don't test parameters. No, okay, just that uh, smaller system. I don't think that I do that much. Obviously, I know the salinity of the water I'm doing that big of a water change with. I'm just taking it out of my big 300 gallon mix tanks. Gotcha. Um, but the uh, other systems, I'm checking the parameters. Depends on what perimeter it is, daily to weekly to monthly, even depending on alkalinity is the one I'm at. I'm at. How often do you test on alkalinity and what are you using to test? Salifert, Salifert test kit. And I check it, you know, if it's hanging, I basically check alkalinity in four, four systems. <clears throat> and uh, if it's hanging, if, it's, if the alkalinity is hanging pretty stable at that moment, then I'll check it twice a week. But if it's not stable at that moment, I'll check it on a daily basis until it's stable until it's stable again. And being out of you know, being not stable could be the media in the calcium reactor is low, turn the CO2 up. So you got a little more CO2 in there as the media goes low, turn the effluent coming out of it up a little yep. bit. Sometimes I'm using calcwasser in my top offs. Uh, I'll, I'll put calcwasser in the top offs, or I'll put calcwasser in, and I can turn the reactors down a yep. little bit, or down whatever, so they're not raising the alkalinity as much. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, that's basically you got to feel for it too with your systems, you know. Yep. And I don't check phosphates that often, honestly. You know, once a month, once every three months. I mean, I'll kind of keep checking occasionally but if i see something losing color or something not right of course i'm going to check the phosphates but that's not something that i'm on all the time right and i'm not finding them high often no. either i did in the uh, reef room that 900 gallon tank but i quickly checked them when i noticed that the acros didn't have the pop that i liked like i wonder if the phosphates are high again you know and sure enough they're like 0 0.09 or one or whatever you know i like 0 0.04 0 0.03 or zero you even like zero yeah i'm fine with that with a bigger established system with lots of sponge and fish and all in there right you know? right so you do you, uh do you feed your fish pretty heavily in the systems mm, i try not to because i i have them i got a lot of tangs and they're there to do one thing and they're there to work <laughs> <laughs> You start spoiling those fish, then all of a sudden they're not doing their job. I'm showing the second video, you know, by the way. I'm showing uh -huh. the second video now. Yeah. Okay. Start seeing algae and stuff pop up here and there because you're over overfeeding the fish. The algae may not be because you're putting too much nutrients in there. It's because your fish are getting lazy. You know, who wants to go hunt for a deer if they got a steak put in front of them? <laughs> <every year? laughs> and that's it's the truth. They will get lazy. Yeah. I feed normal. That's my the main food, and I, I feed uh, rods frozen. Okay. You said nori. Yep. Nori. Yep. 
I go through a lot of nori. Yep, for their tanks. Yep. yep. Nori on Eclipse. Yep. Um, somebody was asking a question about um, what are you using to keep the nitrates and phosphates, um, you know, at the levels that you want to keep them at? Water changes. Water changes. So skimming, water changes. Skimming, water changes. You know, I'm not running carbon or GFO or... You're not using macro, stuff. no uh, refugiums or anything? No. I mean, sometimes I kind of think it might make stuff a little easier sometimes in the raceways and all, but but then I don't want it to suck too much out, too much nutrient and stuff out, you know, and then I don't have the vibrant colors in the corals. It's a really fine line. Yeah, and I, and I assume that your corals are, are doing some of that work too in terms of absorbing some of the nitrates and the phosphates. You know? Right. ICP testing. Do you do any of that stuff? No, I mean I have before on occasion. Um, I forgot his name right now. The guy that, that owns that ICP in Colorado. What was his name? Yeah. Oh. Whatever. He's corals for me a couple times before, and he's when I sent him corals, he uh, checked the perimeters with his tests with the water that in the bags that I sent him the corals in and. Everything was fine. Do you never you you never got like any uh, thing out of whack? Not that I know. I you know I doing the water changes. It takes the bad stuff out, puts good stuff in. You know, trace elements and yep. all that. Yeah, I know there's a lot of ways to do it. And I know there's a lot of people in the crowd in the audience right now. It's like I've never done a water change. <laughs> in my life. You know what? Maybe you didn't. Maybe your corals are awesome looking. You know there's. A lot of different systems. There's a lot of different ways. That's what works for me.